Hello YouTube, Fred Dangeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to have a door follow the area status of it. So basically in this scenario, what I want to show you is to basically have a, a system that allows a door to be unlocked on schedule, but only in when there's at least one person inside the building. So today I'm using this training kit uh, from ICT for Protege GX. This is my main entrance door. We see right now it's on the on schedule. Okay. So remember, uh, in previous videos we've showed you how to uh, program schedules and holidays, and also I've had uh, we did a video on with the Protege WX system on how to arm and disarm an area with a card reader. Okay. So obviously I'm not going to cover that in detail, but we will put the links to those two videos for schedules and arming with the car reader at, in the description below this video, okay? So if you want to look at these first, um, you know, you can just click on the link and then go back to this one for the next step, okay? So basically, uh, compared to the video we did for arming and disarming with the car reader, I'm gonna have another layer of programming. So this is to uh, prevent a main entrance door, for instance, to be unlocked if there's nobody inside the building, okay? In Canada, we call it a snowstorm day, all right? In other countries, is is a too much beautiful outside day and we don't work. Whatever the reason is, this is to prevent a site to be unsecured when there's nobody inside the building, okay? Because if you're just assigning a schedule to the door, well, if it's eight o'clock, eight o'clock is the beginning time of the schedule, the schedule will kick in and then your door is unlocked, but you have no idea if there's someone inside. In the next minute or so, I'm gonna show you how to have the area and the schedule together uh, to make it so the door unlocks only when the schedule is valid and the area is disarmed. Okay, so there's a, an option in the door properties that will basically make it so it follows the status of both. Okay, so let's have a look at how this is programmed with the ICT Protege GX system. So just to give you a little recap, uh, right now what I have here in the system, I have a status page uh, with my areas indoors. So the main entrance right now is unlocked by area. Okay, basic because the area called office is disarmed. Okay, and my schedule, which is valid from eight to five, Monday to Friday, is actually valid because for us here right now it's three thirty. Okay, so um, in other words, um, what we did to, to have this working, okay, is, is under programming and doors. I select the main entrance door. Obviously, like we saw in the previous video, um, I have my area inside door. So basically, this is an entry reader. So it's going to follow the area inside door. And I have my main entrance unlock schedule, which is again valid right now. Okay, so this is important. You have to assign the schedule, assign the area to the door. Okay, now under options, okay, make sure you do not use the always check or the schedule up bracelet to open options because now I want the system to follow the area and the schedule. So that's important. Under the door options too here, I have the option set for door lock follows inside area. Okay, and the other option below, area disarm and schedule valid unlock door. Okay, so basically I need these two checked. Okay, so what this means? It means that, let's say my schedule start at eight o'clock in the morning. Okay, but the area is armed. If the schedule becomes valid after eight o'clock, but the area is still armed, the door will not unlock on schedule. It's gonna wait for the first person to badge and disarm the area. Okay, so let's have a look at this quickly. You see, if I refer to my status page, now the system is arming, and I can see with the blue light that my door is currently locked, okay? And I can see it here. So main entrance is closed and locked. Even though it's past five, uh, sorry, eight in the morning, 3.26 p.m. here, so the schedule is valid, but I just armed the area. So that's good, because if you leave early on a Friday, your bus is so nice sending everybody home on the Friday, um, basically you can just batch three times on that reader, and the door relocks. I don't have to go into the system and lock the door or change the schedule so that it locks the door. You know, no, no. You just need to arm the system and, and then uh, where you are. So basically now I badge once to disarm the area and then the door is now unlocked on schedule. Well, actually it's unlocked by area, but in reality it's a combination of the area and the schedule. Okay, so again, I didn't show you all the steps for the scheduling or arming and disarming with card readers. Well, we have videos on that in the description below. Uh, but basically, this was how to have a door follow the status of an area and the validity of a schedule. Okay, so if the area is armed or if the schedule ends, automatically your door is going to relock. Okay, so that's a safe way to make sure your building is protected. Um, and then maybe on top of that, you want to have the layer of arming on a schedule. So this way, if you forget to arm when you leave, 
um, the system will arm the area before the next um, start time of a schedule becomes valid. Okay. So again, my name is Fred Bergeron. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And again, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Uh, suggestion comments, we like them. And then if you need to uh, have some help on ICT products or any other products ICT is selling, go to nanaccess.com. You can reach our support team and the sales team from there. All right, have a good one.